What's up guys, Define TK here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on easy masking. You guys all know the struggle of sitting there three hours straight masking your guy and then you click RAM preview and you notice you forgot to keyframe it. Yes, well I'm going to show you an easy way to do masks. It doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But before, I just want to give a quick shout out to the person who's helped my channel grow the most out of everyone. That is SS Sniperwolf. If you guys don't know, she loves not only gaming, but cosplay. On her channel, you can find her dressing up as your favorite video game characters, doing close-up and personal vlogs, game walkthroughs, Omegle videos, trolling videos, amazing montages, and lots more. Today I am doing a Misty cosplay and I'm missing this round of Black Ops 2 Zombies. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're in my kitchen and we're going to make food today. No, I must cook. Click the annotation above or the link in the description below. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you. Alright, so let's get into this tutorial. This right here is what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so let's go into the version that doesn't have the mask. So obviously what you want is the text behind the guy's leg, behind his gun. Um, you could use the pen tool. And you know, mask around the gun, mask around his leg, and keyframe that, but that takes forever. So what I recommend you guys do is every time before you do that tedious keyframing method, is try this. So what you do is you duplicate your video clip, you put that above the text, alright, and then you can add saturation to make it black and white. and then some levels and basically what you want to do is make it really contrasty so bring the white up until the background is white and then bring the blacks in until your guy's black and this one it worked really well in this one it's not always going to be perfect it might be a little bit grainy or a little bit discolored a little bit but as long as you get it almost perfect you can mess around with blurs you can mess around with the levels and you can get it to look pretty nice and when it's moving really fast it's sort of hard to tell so don't worry too too much if it doesn't work perfectly alright so once you're done that you just change the blending mode or the the track mat sorry of your text and make that a luma mat so as you can see now it goes underneath the um, the guy's lug in the gun and that's pretty much it guys you just gotta turn your color correction on and you're pretty much good to go. Alright, so as you can see, that looks pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you found it useful, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, a comment, and link me your edits if you guys tried this out so I can give you some feedback. See you guys next week. Take it easy.